hi friends and welcome once again to my youtube channel right um in this video we shall be talking about how to hide microsoft access you know from showing on your microsoft access based software you know for example if you want to open your microsoft access um, software you know it's going to show a kind of an um, intro animation displaying the logo of access and also there's no way you're going to do it um, even if you open the app it's going to be like show microsoft access running under it so how you can pre prevent things of such and also how you can present your app to a client in a professional way you know on the norms it is not professional for you to like you know build a i mean build a software for a client and um fine even if you have microsoft access running the app it doesn't mean that um the the access should now be showing on the app or so that everybody know that yes so this app was built with um, microsoft access so it's something that is dis really discouraging you know that's why most of people are running away from access because i don't know if the people know that yes we can use access to do this thing and before you know it you know it doesn't seem professional all right so i'm fully back to this channel now and please i uh, just won't need one help from you kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the like button and also what you can also make it on the comment section and please try to what, subscribe and on this um in this channel shall be talking about um so many things like uh, i'm going to be talking about tutorial videos on um on graphic design using photoshop and i'm also going to be talking about uh, tutorial videos um, on how to design websites using wordpress and also with coding for those of us that like coding and also in this same channel i'm also going to be talking about um how to you know model object and character using cinema 4d so this channel is fully loaded and also i will be doing more tutorial videos on microsoft assets so please in order to stay tuned please kindly click on the subscribe button so you, you won't miss any of my posts all right let's get started all right to um to to get started the first thing we need to do is what is to make sure that yes we assign a logo to our microsoft access app let's do that now i already have an app here it's a pos app i developed so now i'm just going to open the app as you can see now this access is loading and also it's showing microsoft access underneath you understand which is not professional so this is what i'm going to do now i just want to go to do i'm just going to close it up and uh, you know let me expand it then you go to file when you go to file you you, you go to um, options you know i'll get it there you go to current database you understand then you see this way the root application icon that's where you're going to change the icon for this um, for the database you see i already have a, an icon here then i'm select it then i'm going to choose it and i'll click on it then i'll click on save in order for this change to be effective you must what close and reopen the database which is very simple so i'm just going to close it up i don't need it all right now after doing that now the next thing you need to do the step two you need to do let's go let's talk about step two you will assign a shortcut you create a shortcut for your app now let's go now create a shortcut how do you create shortcut see let me just let me come again you right click and then you see create shortcut when you click on it you are going to get a shortcut now so this shortcut you can try to move it to your desktop so i'm just going to cut it off or i copy it or uh, and i paste it to my desktop so let's go to the desktop now this is my desktop screen now i'm going to paste it here now wow so you see now when i paste this app on my desktop now this part the file that i have assigned an icon to the app you know it's still showing access logo and i don't want that i don't even want anything now uh, no that will make them know that yes so this app was built with access so what i'm going to do now is to what is to um you know change this logo i've already created a shortcut don't forget then i move it to the desktop so and i'm going to assign an icon to it now all right let's do that now you right click on the shortcut then you go to properties are you seeing it properties then after that you 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 you, you click on this button change icon can you see the change icon then you can decide to you know use the previous icon that is there or you browse let us browse for icon so i think uh, there's an icon here then you select it right that's it 
as you can see now then you what you apply after applying that you click ok can you see now that this app already has an icon like a professional software but there's still another thing that we need to fix because when you open this app let's open it now you see it's still showing assets and it's still displaying microsoft assets and i don't want that because it is not professional you see even if i try to drag it and everything microsoft assets is still showing on that which i don't want you right and that's what we want to remove in this video we want to hide everything though we are still going to install assets in this um, in the system because it cannot run without assets but still there's a way we can hide the assets app for the fact that you build your app with assets doesn't mean that you should not be able to hide the assets from showing you know it has been it has been discouraging because a lot of people like that's why they don't even want to build with assets again because you know before you know it now you start installing assets and before you open your app then the logo starts showing and you know all those things so instead of that now you can even display your own logo all right now that's what we want to do now let's and i don't want it to show i don't want everything to show so this is what you do after creating the shortcut again you click on you right click on the shortcut again after right clicking you go to what you go to properties then on that properties um you see this run there's a there's a there's a um right up here called run on that run you see this navigation that you have here this drop down menu that we have here then open it and select minimize it was on normal window before then select what minimize after you select minimize then you are done then click ok wow now let us open this app now to see you can see let's open it now let's open it now can you see now that the logo the access logo is not displaying again that's one and two even if you try to you see try to move it around you will not see any access on the ground and that is how you can what you can prevent micro assets from what from showing on your app even if you have access running the app okay now this is just a simple pos app and let me just log in to show you oh i'm just going to select a user now let me just select a user that's my name see think the cross and um, the password right so as you can see even in after putting my password as you can see successfully login it's just run independently without showing the access can you see now you can move it anywhere you like as you can see now access is actually running this app but it can never show the access because i've already eaten it with just that simple step so let me click ok now to login wow as you can see now my access app is running without what showing the access i've already eaten it can you see now and that's how you can what you can do about that but please in order to get more of these kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and that's the only thing you can do for me to just keep this channel going please i need 1000 subscribers just help me get there by subscribing and if you don't forget in this my channel i'll be talking about um i'll be talking about graphic design using photoshop and illustrator i'm also going to be talking about web design i'm going to be taking it from the scratch so don't miss it I'm going to be taking web design class from the scratch using WordPress and also using coding for those of us that like, like coding. Then again, this same channel again, I'm going to be talking about object and character modeling, how you can model 3D object and animations using um, using Cinema 4D. You understand? And also in this same channel again, I will be talking about um, um, Microsoft Access tutorial, how you can build some robust application system. As you can see, this is my app now fine before i have um a pos app built with asset but i'm just trying to advance it so that it can just meet up with other 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 software you can see it has a very clean user interface and even if you see very well there's an animation going on here with these settings so all those things you can also do that and just stay tuned please thank you like click on the bell icon to what to get notification click on the subscribe button to subscribe and click on the bell icon to go to get notification and give me a thumbs up thanks see you